You know the drill. Essence Delivery just came in. That means we got another Fear of God review on the way for you guys. Let's get started. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name's Sheroy and I like to do a lot of style content primarily around streetwear and sneakers. If that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and leave a thumbs up on this video if you enjoy it. All right guys, you know the drill. Timestamps below for you to skip ahead to the part that you're most interested in, but I always recommend watching the entire video. As soon as I crack this open, we'll get to the good stuff. First things first, let's go over the color palette. And as you can see, we got quite a few colors this time. Starting off with the darkest color, we have ink. Next up, we have dark heather. Next up is seal. This was actually featured in the lookbook on the nylon items. Next up is this super bright color, mint leaf. And to end things off, we have garden yellow. Here's all the colors side by side again from darkest to lightest. If I was to choose my favorite color, mint leaf would definitely be the winner for this drop. Now let's move on to the try on portion. But before we do that, here is my dimensions. I am five foot five, 135 pounds, and I have a slim build. No matter how many times I say it or tag it in the video, people are always gonna ask me my dimensions down in the comments. And honestly, I don't mind. I'm happy to interact with you guys. Quick little side note, prices are gonna be somewhere here or here for you guys. And unlike my usual narration style, I'm just gonna speak to you guys as I try each piece on and let you guys know the size as well. First up, we got the Mint Leaf Crew Neck T-shirt in a size extra small, and I say this every single time, but these new T-shirts are just not meant for me. Everyone says that this is how Jerry wants the stuff to fit, this is the silhouette, this is the this, this is the that, but I am five foot five. I have to adjust things to fit me, and this isn't it. Jerry's 5'9". I'm sure this fits him perfectly fine, but on somebody my height and my build, this is just baggy on me. It's not oversized. It's just too big. Most likely, you need to go two sizes down for it to fit relatively close to an oversized t-shirt from previous collections. That's just how it is now. If you guys want the sleeves to look slightly tapered, then I recommend just giving it one roll and then it won't flare out as much. Next up, we have the Dark Heather crew neck in a size extra small. If I was to go true to size, I would grab a size small, but I like my items to fit slightly fitted, not too baggy, so I went one size down to an extra small. As you guys can see, it's oversized in all the right places, but when it comes to the torso, it's slightly tapered and a little more slim in comparison. I usually just roll up the cuff at the bottom here just because it cinches up a little bit and I like it tucked in. When it comes to the waistband and the sleeves here, we still have the regular cuffs, but now let's have a look at the neckline. As you guys can see, we got that new elastic neckline that's featured on the Adidas Fear of God collection. Now, personally, I don't mind this. I didn't know how to feel about it going into this collection. It's a little bit snug right now, but I feel like with a little more wear, it's gonna stretch out and fit perfectly. I should mention that the crew neck also features pockets on both sides over here. They're not connecting in the center. They're actually separate. Next up, we have the Dark Heather long sleeve in a size extra small. And this is my favorite piece at the entire drop. Definitely go two sizes down on this one over here. Similar fit to the t-shirt. If I go two sizes down, I think this would be perfect for my proportions. Like I said, I'm on the shorter side, so there's a lot of length at the bottom. I could crop it a bit, but it's still a little bit too baggy and not oversized. If I go two sizes down, I think it would be the perfect fit on my frame. My favorite part about the t-shirt over here has to be that full Essentials Fear of God spell out. Similar to the previous collections, low-key I miss this over here and I love that contrast logo over here in that nice mint leaf colorway. It really stands out and pops on the dark heather over here. That's why it stood out to me on the website and some of the lookbook items as well. Now, while the bottom of the t-shirt does not feature any cuffs, the sleeves actually do feature the standard rib cuff, which I really do appreciate because it stops the sleeves from going past my wrist and then looking like I'm wearing somebody else's t-shirt over here. This action, not good. This here, perfect. Maybe I'm biased because that mint leaf just pops, but truly my favorite piece. I don't typically talk about the weight of my t-shirts or the garments I try on, but this is the perfect heavyweight tee for the winter. It has a great fit and feel to it, and is perfect for the season. Before ending off, I should mention that it is a bit of a structured neckline. It is not an exaggerated mock neck, but it does sit higher than a regular t-shirt. And then once again, let's appreciate that mint leaf writing across it. Ooh, this is just perfection in my opinion. Next up, we have the Dark Heather long sleeve polo in a size extra small. As you can see, it has similar proportions to the crew neck. I like to go one size down, as I mentioned earlier, just to get that slightly oversized look, but tapered in the torso. And I usually roll up the cuff anyway, so it doesn't bother me. I really do appreciate all the polos in the Fear of God collections because they have the slightly elevated menswear look in my opinion. The only criticism I have for this particular collection is that there is only one button. You have one button at the top over here, as you guys can see. When I do it up, if I don't want to do up the button and have it look like this, the only other option I have 
is to leave it completely unbuttoned. And I'm not a fan of showing off this much chest all the time. That's just not my look. I wish there were a few more buttons. So for the prices that we're paying, Jerry, you could throw in two more buttons in between the top one and the bottom over here. Once again, we got rib cuffs on the sleeve and also the waist over here. And unlike the crew neck, there is no pockets over here. So this is just a simple polo. And while there's no visible logos on the front over here, we do have a monochromatic spell out in the back, similar to the one that we saw in the long sleeve t-shirt. So you guys can check that out now. Next up, we got the half zip mock neck in a size extra small, and this is truly a winter piece. Sometimes Jerry really has some questionable pieces when it comes to collections and seasons, but this is perfect for a winter collection in my opinion. This here is in the ink colorway if I haven't mentioned that already, and as you can see, we have that nice Sherpa material that is extra cozy and comfy for the winter months. Usually I wear a lot of quarter zip, so it ends somewhere around here but a half zip really lets you get deep with it and just show off the inner shirt that you're wearing. So you can really play around with the layers with this piece over here. We do have a Fear of God branding on the left sleeve over here and we also have elastic cuffs. Now, while I don't mind the elastic cuff on my waist being slightly loose so I can actually layer it with a few items underneath, I do mind the cuffs on the sleeves being loose because when I put my arms down, my arms just fall right through. Now this is the perfect size for me, a size extra small. I did go one size down once again, and I have quite a lot of room over here. So going one size down isn't too bad. If I went true to size, I definitely wouldn't be able to throw a jacket on top of this. I live in Canada. If you're not from Canada, don't worry about adding a jacket on top of it. If you're in California or somewhere, this is perfectly fine for the winter for you. It might even be too much, but that's coming from somebody that lives in Canada and not in California. So I don't know how you guys feel with your colder months. Now, in my opinion, Sherpas are a timeless winter classic, so they're not going to go out of style. So if you want to invest in one from Fear of God Essentials, it's honestly not a bad option. Next piece up is the size extra small sweat shorts in the garden yellow colorway. And as you can see, I am showcasing my chicken legs to you guys in all its glory. There's nothing that's changed too much between this collection and the previous collection for the sweat shorts. If you guys want a above the knee fit, then go with a size down. If you want something that's a little closer to the knee and a little longer, go true to size on this. The reason you can size down is because of the waistband. It is very forgiving. So if you want to get that shorter, higher look and cut, then you can go one size down. If you want to fit true to size, a little baggier and match the aesthetic of the crew neck and the other items that dropped, go true to size and it'll fit closer to the knee. We still have the rope laces over here. I honestly do miss the flat laces, but these aren't too bad either. Next up, we have the running shorts in the seal colorway in a size small. Unlike the sweat shorts, these are not as forgiving when it comes to the length. So I do recommend going true to size on these over here. The crinkle nylon is something I did want to try out, but I was unable to grab the pants in time. So I had to go with the running shorts over here. This is honestly such a great fabric, but it is extremely lightweight. It's not really meant for the winter. In the spring and summer, this crinkle fabric in the pants is honestly going to be a phenomenal thing to pair and create fits with. Finally, we have the relaxed sweatpants in a size extra small in the mint leaf colorway. Now, this colorway is one that I was super excited for, so I just wanted to try it out in sweatpants to see how it would look. As you guys can see with an oversized black Arism tee, it honestly doesn't look too bad. It's pretty casual and the color is a statement piece for sure. Now, I was kind of hesitant to see how these relaxed sweatpants would fit on body, but now that I've tried it on, it's honestly the perfect fit and iteration of sweatpants from Fear of God Essentials that I've tried to date. Honestly, this is my favorite fit. It is the right amount of baggy. It is not extremely baggy or oversized or extremely tapered as well. It's perfect relaxed fit that you can wear for a casual fit or daily wear just lounging around. Now the cuff on these is once again similar to the Fear of God Athletics collection by Adidas. It's a slimmer elastic cuff, so it's not the rib cuff that we're traditionally used to, as you guys can see here. Now when it comes to pants, I honestly don't mind this cuff at all. It looks pretty good because of how minimal it is. It allows the fabric to stack on top and the cuff is almost completely hidden. Another thing I tried to do is actually tuck the cuff in to create more of a straight leg look on these sweatpants. It pretty much looks as if I got these pants tailored 
to fit me exactly at my ankles. And honestly, I don't mind the look either way. They look fine to me. Honestly, this color is growing on me more and more each time I look at it. My only criticism is going to be, Jerry, please add at least one back pocket. For the prices that we're paying, we can get at least one back there. Now, in order to achieve this look that's slightly relaxed, I went one size down to an extra small. If I wanted to get some truly baggy sweatpants, I would go true to size and get a size small. So if you want that true aesthetic, stay true to size. If you want it slightly tapered, slightly looser, but not extremely skinny like the old, old collections, just go one size down. And like I said, these waistbands are definitely forgiving, so you're going to be able to do that with ease. Now that I've tried everything on, let me give you guys my final thoughts and opinions. First of all, I'm pleasantly surprised with this particular drop. There was a lot of things that were switched up and we even got some new pieces and there was definitely some hype because pieces actually sold out on drop day for the first time in a long time. As you guys may have noticed, there were items that weren't featured in today's video like the contrast hoodie, the rib sweater, the nylon pants. Those three items were pretty much sold out or were not available in my size. So I wasn't able to feature them in today's video and if you guys are interested in looking at sizing for those particular pieces, then you can go over and watch Paul's video, which I will link over here for you guys or over here, wherever that YouTube card is. Definitely check out his video if you haven't already, because he also covered pretty much every single item from this drop. Now, when it comes to fit, it is still similar to the previous collection. And as you guys know, I'm not a big fan of the new fitting for the t-shirts and the long sleeves. And also the scuba neck is not my thing. It's not my thing, but it might be your thing. But I personally just don't like going down to a double extra small in most of my pieces and still having it fit extremely baggy on me. Like not even oversized. Aerism tees, I consider oversized and I can get it in a nice fit. Those are just baggy and they don't look good on me at all. So I will be returning those pieces for sure for the long sleeve though i will probably try to exchange it for a double extra small if that is still available on essence because that shirt is just perfection in my opinion i guess it's just a mint leaf logo that really just has me drawn into that piece i personally love the color a lot so i'm probably going to go down to a double extra small and if it's still too long what i'll do is i'll take it to a tailor and get the waistline hem slightly or a little bit cropped to look a little more proportionate for my body and my height now when it comes to colorways truly excited to see the nice bright colors even in the winter months and also the variety we got yeah, we got the standard Heather colorways, but we got a nice off black ink color. We got the seal color on the nylon pieces. We also got a nice light yellow, I would say. Yeah, it's more of a light yellow with the garden yellow in comparison to previous collections. But the standout one is mint leaf for me. It's a super bright color and I can see myself wearing that in multiple seasons and still liking those pieces year round versus just getting it for one particular season like some of the shades and colors that have dropped in the past. There's something else I did want to touch on, and that is the amount of Fear of God drops that have taken place in such a short and condensed period of time. At the time of recording this, it's Christmas Eve. There is going to be a Fear of God Athletics drop on Christmas Day. There is also another collaboration drop that's going to be dropping, I believe on Christmas Day or somewhere around then as well. We just had the Fear of God Athletics drop with Adidas, and then we have this Fear of God Essentials drop, and I believe there was a mainline drop as well. So within the month of December, or a little bit late November, we've had about five different collections from Fear of God drop. Now, if you ask me, that's a lot of Fear of God and also kind of cannibalizing into different segments. You can say that all these are targeting different price points and different consumers, but at the end of the day, you are still getting the essentials drop, which is considered the budget line out of all of the ones I just listed. So at the end of the day, if you were contemplating a hoodie from Fear of God Adidas or Fear of God Athletics, you might gravitate towards a Fear of God Essentials one just because it's in a more reasonable price point in comparison to the other. Now I have to reiterate, the pieces are not the same across all of these collections, but when you give the consumer the option to buy something for cheaper, they might gravitate towards that and it might take away from the other collections. Honestly though, shout out to Jerry because he's definitely in his bag with all the drops that are taking place right now and I know that he's going back and forth a bit online with the Fear of God Athletics drop. I don't have much to say on it. As you guys know, I didn't even review it. I'm also not the most athletically inclined individual. So Fear of God Athletics wasn't really on my radar at all. Now that's a wrap for today's video, guys. I know this one is a little late. I think a week after the drop has taken place, but this video should be going up on Christmas Day. So this should be useful for you guys if you plan to buy some Fear of God on Boxing Day. Before ending this video off, happy holidays to you guys. I hope you enjoy it with friends and family. And thank you for all the support you've given me on this channel. It truly does mean a lot to me. And the amount of drops that took place close to Christmas, I think it's important to say this. 
Now this might sound a little weird coming from a fashion channel, but remember guys, you don't have to get into the habit of over consuming or overspending to keep up with the latest trends. It's okay to sit back and let a trend go by or appreciate a piece from afar. You don't always have to have it in your collection or stay up to date with the latest wardrobe 24 seven. It's okay to save up for other important milestones in your life or save up for an emergency fund should you need it or the occasion arises. I hope it doesn't, but it'll be there if you do. And of course, there are other experiences out there in life aside from clothing, like traveling. So make sure you're enjoying life to its fullest and not just chasing the next release. I truly enjoy making content and that's why I do it. I also don't keep every single piece that's featured in my videos. So I'm just being completely transparent with you guys. With all that said though, once again, thank you for all of your support. And as always guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Happy holidays.